all welcome back again to the channel and welcome back to bonesy sports i was done shooting and i'm like let me just start another video Woo! you guys <laughs> um so tomorrow i'm gonna be expecting someone right and i just cannot wait for you guys to see who i'm actually going to be expecting tomorrow uh, my OG subscribers, like people that are really OG subscribers, yeah, that literally started following me when I started this YouTube channel, would definitely know who I'm talking about. Like, no, 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 they will not know. They possibly will have um, close guesses to who I'm genuinely talking about. But if you don't, don't worry. We are going to see it maybe in the next clip or... Hopefully my camera does not disappoint me, but it is not going to disappoint me But yeah, you're definitely going to see tomorrow But either way, you guys, I just got done shooting And to clean this my makeup now, I remove this my wig I am not what they call it I don't know if I will just go and take pictures or something There is no light, there is a lot of heat I'm happy the house is even quiet, like my children are sleeping And my husband just literally stepped out right now anyways i'll see how it goes <laughs> i would see how um, what they call it like how it goes if i possibly will step out or take pictures or something you guys i have been in the content creation mode for the past one week like i have just been creating content and creating content my mojo is back but <laughs> creating content editing videos and different things my mojo is back but either way it's price you guys welcome back again to my channel and welcome back to bonesy spot please do well to hit the subscribe button you guys please subscribe to my channel this is me now even coming out soon i don't know what i'm going to be using this my pretty face to be doing but it's me just starting this video and telling you that please and please subscribe to my channel watch my videos turn on your post notifications and yeah like my videos share my videos like liking my videos will help my you know will help the algorithm like push up my videos to more people you will see that people are enjoying the video and it will push up my videos to more people you guys please i'm committed to giving you guys you know good content please you guys should just be committed to encouraging me and motivating me to keep going on because it ain't easy it ain't easy to juggle all of these things and do all of these things but don't worry i'm here for you guys but anyways guys let me just in fact i've come to the point where let me go and snap picture let me go and do all that things and i'll definitely see you guys in the next clip <laughs> Mero came back for me. Agaracha go. Agaracha come back. <laughs> Kaito, see Kaito's face. Kaito cannot remember. Kaito, can you remember Auntie Mero? Mm. Which is? He can't remember. <laughs> you should see my. This one is, I would say, it's my prodigal daughter. Agaracha go. Agaracha come back. <laughs> If it is the outside sweet, go and come back and see how it is. You should see my Mero Mero. Mero Mero don't come back to me. Hey! Agaracha go. Agaracha come back. Oh yeah, nah. come let's go to the
Pero, no ves. A few moments later. Mama. Hey guys, a lot to catch you guys in on and fill you guys in. I'm sure you guys will be waiting for me to actually sit down and talk to you guys as regards to uh, what they call it, like anti Merano. But I first quickly, it's Saturday morning and we've registered the children for swimming. So I brought them for their swimming classes. I'm about to change because I usually enter the pool with them. So I'm about to change. I enter the pool with them. Oh, Nikki, Nikki. Cry to mommy. Say cheese. Say hey guys. Mama, say hey guys. get to like tell you guys the backstory of how you know Mary came to the house I'm sure a lot of you have just been like how did she come to the house like how did it get to the point that she's coming to your place even after everything that she did so if you're my OG subscriber yeah you guys know that Auntie Mary was my first ever nanny that I had and she left me high and dry <laughs> left me high and dry literally lied to me that you know she was traveling and then she was going to be coming back not knowing that she had already planned you guys i've given you guys that backstory i'll try and see if i can put the video to that story up here and how i what they call it like saw her in the streets the day she told me she was leaving i bumped into her in the streets at night and you know I asked her, I said, where are you going to? She said, well, her boyfriend's house. And I was open to, you know, yeah, boyfriend, whatever, whatever, whatever. I didn't even know that the boyfriend was a security that was very close to. In fact, security that is just the next gate, that was the boyfriend that, it was a long story. You know, she, I really liked her. I really did like her. I like the way that she genuinely took care of Kaito you know but she's one of those people that were deceived i would say by were deceived by boys or by that man and getting to find out today that she and the guy safe they did not work out and uh, finding out that the guy even has a family in bauchi states the guy has a family and was deceiving her long story short right for the past one week not even one week i've been seeing that number since the beginning of this year right that number will just flash me but i'll be like oh, i don't even know this number there's no point calling back but i started receiving like you know the previous night before i answered her call again i received a call from that number but like very early in the morning but i woke up and 
after I saw the call, I was like, ah, who is this person calling me? But by the time I was calling the person back, the number was not reachable anymore. So, sometime last week, I received a call from the number again, very early in the morning, like past eight, a bit to eight or something. And I was like, ah, who is this person again? Let me just answer. And I answered, and the person was sobbing on the phone, and the person was like, hello, ma. Hello, ma, how is my Kai Kai? And in my head, I'm like, ah, who is this? And she said, it's Meru. I said, ah, Meru, ah, you've been the one calling me. How are you now? Because I didn't know that number. She had actually called me before she left my house. Like, when she left my house that time, many years down the line, she had called me. Not many years down the line, no. Shasha, that's not even the gist. But what I'm saying is, I answered the call and she said amanda she wants to come and see me and greet me so me i just said in my mind that you know I, and i also after i caught the call i said okay no problem i'll ask my husband you know so myself and my husband we had a discussion i said okay meryl was not a bad person that i would say oh did this did that did that did that did that did that i would say youthful exuberance played a very huge role but you know when boy they really shock person like man they really shock you they shock you for the peak period where you are very very hot and you know guys are telling you different things even as people that are even advanced like they know they shine their eye enter love that they close the eye enter love so i didn't expect anything different but i just expected that we have we lived in the house as a family i don't know if you guys can tell from my vlogs no matter how much i have nannies you don't cook for me you don't take care of my children a hundred percent i can never even allow you <laughs> when Soti even came here she was saying but you live like you don't even have nannies i say yes because i can't allow you to take hundred percent of my children like what's the thing that you are doing that i cannot do so when people was even telling me that oh i should bring a new nanny and she will put the nanny through what she does i'm like the thing that you are doing here who taught you the things that you are doing in my house that you are telling me you are going but i can bring somebody for you to Put the person through but that aside when i had a discussion with my husband and he was like you know what that's fine let's see what she wants to say and what not that was how she came today yes she came to the table unfortunately after all the apology and everything you know ha mary said that she has been with people that don't even ask her like how are you that the kind of love that she experienced here she even knelt down and was crying i was like no even in your condition because if you guys can see from the video she's actually pregnant ah god i i am a little bit in fact i'm disappointed i'm not even going to say i'm a little bit disappointed i'm disappointed because i gave her a good level of exposure like if you guys have followed me for a very long time I give her a good level of exposure and they don't expect what they call it Nero to end up the way she's well she has not ended up and I pray for God's mercy upon her life you know I pray for you know that things will turn around for her but even when she came and said that even if it's cleaning work that she can be doing for me and I told her I can't even put like if I'm pregnant I don't want to clean I can't clean I can't do anything so I can't even put you in that kind of position like to come and clean for me. what are you cleaning for me literally like what are you cleaning for me you know and then she was like oh she works with people that don't even ask her how are you it's just they are very what they call they don't even treat her like human being and uh -huh, that's the word that she used so at some point she went back to the village she was farming and she came back last year uh this guy was a police officer this guy that got her pregnant was a police officer that uh, what they call it police was not paying him very well so he started driving okada and in my head i'm like god <sighs> i just told myself it's what they call it myself and my husband i was like this one is not i'm just going to abandon her she's made the mistake yes I said, what do you do now? She said she sells dry pepper and kuli kuli. <sighs> you guys, Kaito could not even remember her. Kaito could not even, what they call like, I could not even picture the mirror that was in my house and the mirror that came back. She came back times 10 darker than when she even started working for me. 
like i could not believe it to be very honest with you like i i held myself from i had to look for food for her because the way she washed it she has not eaten i was like god and i asked her, i said Mero, why did you lie to me why did you leave my house she said then deceive me and guess what the guy that even deceived her to tell her that oh they are work this one that one that one the guy is still doing security work even after how many years he's still doing the security work in the next compound all my girls that used to come i used to warn them against that uh, uh what they call it a jasko a little dancer i used to warn them against him because so you advise somebody to leave the person's place of comfort to a place of uncertainty and you are still doing the security work that you are doing here i said Mero, you even lied to me you told me that this guy is working somewhere else when i asked you ah, who your boyfriend is and everything you were just telling me she was even saying that even the kind of love that she and my friends like me and my friends even showed her that she have not gotten it from anybody and anywhere how life has been tough for her like i didn't i didn't want it to be this way for her regardless of even if she left my house and she really hurt me and she lied to me and so many things I still don't I, I still do not wish that you know life would treat her this way and then having to now bring another child if I having to bring a child in uncertainty is another one that I don't even know but there's nothing I can really do I can't employ her what I can do is that I've told that I'm going to you know as the Holy Spirit helps me I'm going to help her as well you know if it's the dry paper that she says she wants to sell whatever she wants to do but let her do an easy job now until she's able to give birth I will call my friend on here as well to just say just I beg be keeping your baby's clothes because me I don't really use my own do for that Christmas be keeping your baby's clothes because we don't know what she's going to have but this is a situation of things but my friends were like Meru <laughs> Meryl cried though, she knelt down, I said no, stand up, you don't have to kneel down for that, you need down for me, my God, you don't have to kneel down for me, but when you they tell them these things, now they know they understand them the way you they tell them, until you think that the grass is really green now on the outside, and that is the word that I told Favour, I said, when somebody is loving you, when I came back, when I traveled and everything, I came back, you stayed in my house, I didn't even stay in my house completely one year, you came, you resumed in my house September. I traveled in October. You were staying for free in my house and I was paying you your complete money for free. You worked for how many months? You just told yourself, oh, I will go, I will sell meat pie, I will do this. And that's the word I told. I said, when someone is loving you, when you meet a stranger that is vulnerable with you, is sincere with you, the person loves you genuinely never be strategic with that person you want to do the person mago mago uh, let me see let me see let me see uh I'll, this is what i will do this is what i will do i'll do this. don't ever do that because it's not easy to find genuine and sincere love like someone that will open not just the person's heart to you but the person's home to you like you guys eat anything you want drink anything you want i will go to market i will buy juice buy a uh, mineral buy different thing i don't restrict you eat anything you want do anything you want i will never carry your salary and pay you in the next month that's not me because even the bible says you pay your workers your wages i don't need to lift salary from january to march or anything i don't owe once you reach that uh, 25th 26th i don't pay you it's just a sad situation honestly i don't think i can sit down here and tell you guys everything we talked about a lot of things and all but she just repeatedly kept apologizing of how she's sorry you know and i felt very very bad i can't even lie i felt bad i hope that dropped her halfway because i was taking my children for swimming dropped her halfway you know sent her off with some money and what they call it i told her that she should bring dry paper for me that i will buy and what they call it myself going in Uzo will rally around and see how we can actually help out truly but we can't really do like employ her or anything or want just to help out until she's able to give better no but for coming back for working with me they say no no she's not going to be working for me anymore i already have someone and my new girl saw her and was like hey so when she was inside the car because we we're all going inside the car when she dropped down she said, ah, who is this i said ah, it's my first nanny that used to work and take care of kaito she was so shocked she was like, ah. 
she came back and she wants to come and start working with us. I say no, she's not coming to come and start working with us, but put your head down. <laughs> put your head down. But anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in my next video. If you can tell from my countenance, I don't feel happy at all. But I'll see you guys in my next video. Hopefully, I'll be more bubbly and I'll give you guys more updates as it progresses. I'll see you guys in my next one. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Hi guys, and let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Will you accept your nanny that has left your house in a deceitful way? Will you accept that nanny back? Let me know in the comment section and bye guys.